There's lots of difficult things about medical school, so making sure that you choose the right school, one where you're comfortable, where you feel at home, where you feel like you have a good support system is really important, so you can't stress enough really investigating and finding out the right fit for you. I wanted to go into medicine because I want to be a clinician. And when I started looking around at programs, UT was really the place where I walked in and thought, man, what an incredible clinical experience. You have this great atmosphere of people that have the same goal as you, um, but they're really loving and they really want everyone to succeed. So it's a great group of people. I actually chose UT because I'm interested in pediatric oncology and you've got St. Jude's right here. And also you have Le Bonheurs. I'm interested in pediatrics in general. UT is always been there having grown up here it's always been on the radar screen it was a place that I felt like I could really grow and become comfortable as a clinician even in the med student setting because of the experience we get so far I'd say it's been positive I mean I don't really think you should ever ask an M2 if they like med school because it's kind of your worst year but we have a very um, cohesive class. Everyone's willing to help each other out. Everything anyone learns new, they always put it out there for everyone else. So I think that's been um, the best thing I felt about UT Medical School was our class cohesiveness. I love Memphis. I'm actually from Birmingham, um, but I came to Rhodes for undergrad and I changed my residency so I could go to UT and stay in Memphis. The city is amazing, it's got so much culture, and just, there's live music any day of the week, any place you want to go, and the food is amazing. We now have an NBA uh, basketball team, the Memphis Grizzlies. There's We're also make the playoffs this made, year. I know. <laughs> it's very exciting. We're actually good, which is really exciting. And the Memphis in May every year, we're gearing up for our big music, three-day music festival. You know, a lot of great bands that just released the lineup, and we're all pretty excited really about that. Excited. So. I, think, I think I'm more excited about Barbecue Fest. Yeah, that's than, also um, good. Um, I think we all agree that Memphis is a great place to live um, in the future since we all grew up here. Um, this is home for us, and we're all very happy here, and we can definitely, I think, all see ourselves raising families here. Yeah. So one of the great things about going on rotation with someone is that you really find out what they want to do in the future, in their life, what specialty they want to do. And you realize that these are going to be my peers, these are going to be my consults. I'm going to be calling you know, my friends in the future for a plastic surgery consult or for a dermatological consult. And I think that's great that you're building these lifetime relationships that you can always call your friend, your peer, for advice. UT has any kind of program or any kind of extracurricular you really want to get into. Any kind of interest group, like pediatric interest group or OBGYN interest group. I'm actually the intramural chair currently, so there's lots of opportunities for that. There's sports that really run almost year-round, maybe not a couple summer months, but uh, whether it's very athletic sports like basketball, softball, to table tennis, polo, billiards, those kind of things. So lots of options for people to vent maybe frustrations for studying in a, in a positive way. Oh, the formals are lots of fun. We have great party planners in our class and we had an M1 formal, M2 formal. It's a great way to kind of cut loose with your classmates and really get to know each other. When I came and interviewed here and saw how many hospitals were on campus or within like five blocks of campus, I was really excited to see that. And I think the, the clinical experience that you get at UT is unparalleled. <laughs> it is, it's unparalleled. I mean, the, the pathology that you get to see here, because so many of our patients have no primary care doctors, you get to see diseases in advanced stages that you might have only read about at some schools, but actually get to see and manage here and feel very comfortable with it, which is invaluable. When students do their clinical rotations, they'll rotate through almost all of the Memphis hospitals. They take a lot of concern for student safety. If I'm walking out by myself, we'll call UT Safety and they'll drive me to my car, walk me to my car. And um, I've always felt really safe. I've never had any problems. And um, you just have to be smart about where you go, but that's on any school campus. So I think Memphis is a safe place. You just have to be smart.
So SAS is a student in academic and sports services, and it's basically run by uh, academic professionals and tutors that are there for the students, and that's all they do, and they help all the professional schools. But I use it as for tutoring sources early on, and now I use it even as a third and fourth year to get my textbooks because they allow you to take out textbooks for as long as you want. I'm an M2 now, and it was my M1 year. I came in, and obviously I'm a non-traditional applicant, and um, I didn't do so well first round of exams to the point where I was afraid they were going to tell me they'd made a mistake. <laughs> and I went down to SAS, and um, they really helped me get on track, and I ended up doing pretty well first year. Um, we are here to make the adjustment to medical school easier. When we survey students, and we always do surveys with students every year, um, at the completion of the year, and we'll ask students, what did you find most challenging? And what we find most challenging in this environment is adjusting to the quantity of material and the amount of time they have to study. So I really came in with a, so how do I do this kind of attitude. I just sat down with Assassin and they kind of helped me figure out how I learn best, which is something that, you know, in undergrad I could learn however I wanted and do well however I chose. Um, and I think in, in the medical experience you really have to figure out what's the most efficient way for you to learn. Um, and they helped me discover that and, and really plan my, my study schedule around that. And then I've used them, I've already used them for board planning, which has been awesome because um, Kathy sat down with me and said, here's what you're doing every hour of every day for three weeks. And I'm super excited about that. I couldn't ask for a better group of people to be going through this with, and, and, I, and I mean, I say that with all sincerity because I have not met such a phenomenal group of people, and I mean, it represents the whole spectrum. UT is really amazing. Like, I've had such a great experience here. Um, I'm about to end my second year, and I look back on it, and I'm so glad I was here. I think that's one of the reasons I chose UT to begin with, is that I knew I would have other students kind of walking this road with me, helping me out. I like you, Dave. I'm a fan. I'm a aficionado. 